Um, so about the guitar. Ten strings, that's, that's the main event right there is ten strings. guitar has some sustain so we're gonna let this ring out real quick about the gear obviously again BC rich perfect 10 um, this is a 10 string guitar and I'm plugged directly into a vintage Carvin series 3 amp uh, no pedals no effects no rack gear nothing guitar cable amp I just have a little bit of reverb on the amp and the reason why I chose that amp I just wanted an all tube let the guitar shine through uh, tone for this video. Um, so about the guitar, ten strings. That's that's the main event right there. Is ten strings. Um, a lot of folks out there like twelve strings. Twelve string guitars are never typically never your first guitar. Okay, the reason why is it's it's good for some things. It's not good for everything. Um, this one here has a competitive edge on the market, and I'll tell you why. First of all, okay, if you wanted to ditch these four strings, you can, and it would be a six-string guitar. Th that right there, you know, it, there's a lot of value in that, that you're not tied down to 12 strings, or ten. in this case, 10 strings. If you want a six-string electric guitar, with the option of getting the, the octaves and the added tones, you, all you have to do is string it up. It's a special bridge, okay? So that, that's number one. Number two, it's different than a 12-string guitar, and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, in 12-string guitars, see, this is, this is an axe, right? So you want to rock on this axe. Um, and whether you're playing clean tones or, or heavy riffs, distorted tones... You could do that here, and this is designed for the player in mind, and here's why. Okay? The E string and the B string are in unison, okay? Um, the G and the D string are in octaves, okay? The A and the low E are as is, okay? So especially with the low, low notes, they don't get muddy like they typically would with a 12-string guitar. Okay, so uh, two unison, two octaves, two left as is, and you know the reason why they left as is, like I said, is so it just doesn't muddy the guitar down. Okay, uh, your six tuners are at the top. There you go. Can you check that out there? Six tuners at the top, and then your four added tuners are at the bottom. Okay, and that's this is actually routed out real nice. Uh, on the back, and this is a full neck through guitar, okay? So, same piece of wood all the way up from the headstock all the way down to the tailpiece, right down here. Same piece of wood, okay? Um, you know, and again, six tuners up top, four down at the bottom with a bridge that allows you to run six or ten strings. Ten string guitar, not a twelve. This is a ten, but I know what's on everyone's mind, so here we go. You ready? Uh, very tone, which I'm going to go through. There you go. Real, rings out real nice. and now I'm going to go into the octaves. Guitar 
sounds completely playable on clean tones it sounds crisp and on on the the distorted tones the overdriven tones it sounds full let's go to the electronics okay this is another key feature of the guitar let's face it uh, when you own guitars and you buy guitars you spend lots of money at the shop uh, swapping out pickups uh, upgrading pickups and then you get all the you know typically when you're in the shop they talk you up with oh do you want me to coil tap the pickups that's a little bit more Do you want me to throw it out of phase that's a little bit more etc 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 this guitar has it all built in so you know from an electronics perspective I think you're all set so what we have here we have two Rockfield pickups these are both mafias they're both humbuckers okay but if you wanted to coil tap them you can because we have two coil tap switches, one for the bridge, one for the neck. In the up position, it's coil tap, so it'll behave like a single coil. In the down position, it'll behave like a humbucker. Tell me what you think. This is how it sounds. So in the neck, this is humbucker. This is coil tapped. That same holds true for the bridge, so we have the coil tap for the bridge and for the neck pickup. And if you want to throw them out of phase, you could do that too. It's all built in. Vo uh, two volumes, one for each pickup, and a master tone control. Okay? And then we have the five tone, very tone switch. And that's right here. These are, these are called sweet switches, veritone switches. Um, what it does essentially is it gives you different dynamics in tone. Some add mids, some take away mids, some sound fuller, some sound lighter. So I'll go through the settings. You let me know what you think. distortion. Lots of electronics, lots of string options, premium construction, ebony fretboard, neck through, gorgeous top. It's a no-brainer. You let me know what you think. Thanks for watching the video.